is the UFC middleweight king, the Reaper, Robert Whittaker, back-to-back -back wins over Yoel Romero. Hard to quantify, though, how difficult those 50 minutes against Yoel Romero were and what type of toll it might take on Whittaker. Yes, but after the Romero fight, there was a lot of time in between fights with Whittaker, which allows you to recover because you hear the stories about the guys that say they fight you well. No one's like him, no one feels like right. him, but Robert Whitaker was able to manage that over the course of two very, very difficult fights. And he was able to do that because of the fantastic cardio, the great wrestling mentality, and also the unbelievable striking and the ability to stare down the barrel of a loaded shotgun in your yeah. barrel's left hand and feel safe. That allowed Robert Whitaker to keep his belt in both those instances. And we knew from his debut in 2012 that he would be something special. It has certainly been every bit that. This is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jamar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce effing Lee, the man many of these fight fans have come out to see here tonight. And now our kill the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Robert the Reaper Whitaker! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight Champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Herb Dean, our referee ready, for this ready. one. Ready. Let's do it. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles just absurd, and a hard guy to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. Oh, no feeling out process tonight. These fighters are brawling early. Those guys came to fight from the moment the referee said go. with the left from the champ. Oh, great striking from Robert Whitaker as usual. This man put some serious pressure on you. And when you can beat Yoel Romero the way he did, he is not going to be intimidated by any other 185-pounder in the world. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. Oh, and he gets the 
single leg takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. Elbow landed there by Robert Whittaker. Making all these shots count. Oh, staying busy, fighting off of his back, and he lands. Changing the position. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Robert Whittaker. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. Straight right, he misses. Nice straight right, Lance. Bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Oh, he missed with that right hand. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Big body kick land. Just over two minutes, round one. Whitaker gets lit up by that straight punch. Keep your face covered. Up. Oh! Big knee to the body. Oh, big left hook there. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lee gets caught with that punch. Now touches him with the left. Leg kick, and he finally is softened enough to that Bobby Knuckles moniker. I mean, they print the shirts. It's a great nickname. I don't know why he fought it. It's a fantastic nickname, and it fits him to a T. Bobby Knuckles, we all love him. We all love that nickname. Under a minute to go in round one. Beautiful kick. Give me those arms. Oh! You heard it real bad. Able to block that one. Nice shot there by the champ. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Whitaker. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh! He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Oh, my goodness. Ten seconds to go in round one. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, Watch you next. <laughs> All right, take a seat, brother. Deep breath. Your striking is amazing out there. Everything you're throwing is landing. Let's keep that going. We know he's going to come out this round. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? You ready? Yeah. All right, let's get to round two. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble chair. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, 
Oh, beautifully done with the hook there by Lee. Well, he might be working towards an attritic. And now a hip kick to boot. different things right now. Oh! Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Big double leg, level change. Whitaker's in half guard. All right, side control now. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. He needs to shove the knee. Hip heist and get back up to your feet. Great job landing from the top position. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Three minutes now to go in round two. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Whitaker. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Less than two minutes now to go in round two. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And oh, he's wobbling now. Oh, both, both landed. Great defense. That punch had no chance. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Oh, spinning heel kick, and it lands. Oh, back and forth we go. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Slips. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to knock gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Well, the calf kick has effectively changed the game, and I'm not sure he wants to take too many more of those. Well, you might consider switching stances or something to try to eliminate that attack from coming in his direction. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Gets to the single collar tie. Oh. Good run. Oh. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cutman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, in, that is partly because his opponent is not defending. Ready. Ready. 
All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they both did so evenly matched. Oh, he's in trouble. Knee to the body, that one was blocked. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Lee gets back up here. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Nice defense there, huge block. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, nice count, yes. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pull it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. Once you get to take that many kicks, it doesn't matter if they're hard or not. Those are a lot of kicks. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Oh, hammer fist here by Whitaker. Big ground and pound. Well, he's on his back, but he's landing. And he is back up to his feet. He landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his... This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hit to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. Outstanding kick there. Oh! to Kembe Mutombo when he is blocking all these shots coming Man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to go deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. All right, less than a minute here to go now in round three. Oh! Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Nice straight punch there. He's been dealing with that cut on his nose for a while, and now it is just pouring blood. Oh! oh, he's on wobbly legs now. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Oh. Outstanding ground. Oh. 
Do you believe it? Another five minutes coming up. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. Well, well, no surprise to see that eye continue to be targeted. Some replays from the previous round in which a lot of damage was doled out. Well, the cut man's got some work to do to try to give this kid an opportunity to stay in the fight because the reality is he has taken far too many shots to the eye and now he's dealing with a nasty cut. He has got to change something. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five, and this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the upper hand. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Perfect, and that one landed perfectly. Oh, Whitaker just checked that last kick. Oh, effective use of the jab by Robert Whitaker. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Lee's doing a nice job protecting the eye with that block. You don't want to absorb any more damage on that cut. Whitaker's cut above the eye. A swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Whitaker. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Finds his range with the jet. Oh, what a jump to get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a roll to trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. And landed some nasty strikes. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not head-hunting inside the octagon. I, I think he is... Oh, he's in a world of trouble now. This could do it. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the game. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess, I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with your food. No. Rips the body there. Oh, that body shot hurt him. Lee's nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled. It is... Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Man's a beautiful leg kick. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this. Oh, these guys are absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. Back to the feet now. Ooh. Nice leg kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands.
checks that leg kick. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Going to the sidekick. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Lee's cut has really opened up now. That blood is flowing. Didn't necessarily wake up thinking he was going to be donating blood today. He has donated a whole lot of it. Oh, 20 minutes down, five to go. All right, heading back to the corner, and Lee's nose has got to be broken. I'm no doctor, but perhaps they should call on one right now. You hate to see a fight ended because of a circumstance like this, but I'm just not sure the fighter's going to be able to continue given all the blood. Ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Heavy on the cut. Heavy on the cut. Lee's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. Swing and a big miss by Lee. Whiffs on that offer. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. And just misses with that big right hand. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Big shot lands for both guys. Nice kick, yep. Lee's eyes closing up now, not good for him. It's not over, it's not over, keep moving. Oh, huge right hand! Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence. And when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Oh, oh you got to keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Nice block. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. Oh! That'll do it! Oh, my goodness! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So, back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 42 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout 
and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Robert the Reaper Whitaker. Well, he's still on the right.